Grander Field should be around here, right? But it's so foggy. Even if there were enemies here, we'd never know it. I recall the terrain from the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, but without the ability to see the enemy's formation... Our enemies are subject to the same conditions. We'll just have to wait for the fog to clear up. Speaking of enemies, what do you think became of those unidentified troops? Any follow-up reports? We haven't heard anything since. If they were headed this way... Well, I'd like to avoid being caught by surprise, but we can't make use of our scouts because of this fog. And it's hard to predict this fight. There's no way to know what will happen. Of course. The morale of our allies would be crushed if we let them see us shaking in our boots. Your guidance is going to be crucial, Teach. Now more than ever. Do whatever it takes to lead us to victory. Departing from the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army marches south toward Envar, the Imperial capital. As an unknown military force begins their advance under the banner of the Kingdom, the Imperial Army dispatches forces from Fort Mercius with the intention of intercepting them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Grander, held on the same plains that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's gotta be the worst in history. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Kill every last one of them! And so we fight on. I will crush anyone who blocks my path. Dimitri, he's alive. But he doesn't look interested in joining forces with us. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. Time to slow down. My orders? What's the plan? Shall we? What's my strategy? At the ready. Shall we? I 
do this for all of us. I'll do my best. Mounted units, advance. Nice try. Never doubted you. Danger of being taken. We must be running to protect it. Started to crumble. We will step on the Empire right along with the Alliance troops. To the eternal flames with all of them!
lost that one. For Adrestia and for Bridget, I will be defeating all of you! Big help. We're interfering with the plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you. <laughs> Fighting on will endanger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. No need to worry. We still have some troops left. So long as I stand, we won't give up. You must live on to lead your people. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the crimson flame. More fighting. One of us has to die. Oh! 
It's win or die. What's my strategy? Shall we? Shall we? Let's make this quick. I'll do my best. I owe you one. I've gotten strong. I do this for all of us. My orders? What's the plan? At the ready. Want to die? Step forward. I'll take you all. Watch and learn. Close for my life. No time for mercy. Just like that.
Choose our paths, and I've chosen mine. I fight for my lord to the death. That's it for me. Fought and won. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the crimson flame. Bye. 
I will destroy both the kingdom and the alliance. Now, with one fell swoop. We haven't seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And you have the aid of the Professor. Frankly, I'm jealous. Now's the chance for you and the Professor to leave. <laughs> I'm afraid I must decline. Even if we left, we just have to come right back. I lost. Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. Just stronger. You're not worth it. Get out of my sight. Where are you, Aid God? I will not stop until I kill you! Even in an ugly battle like this, it's important not to lose heart. We have to take pride in our victory. We did it, Teach. Now we can move forward. To our victory! So, Edelgard retreated. I suppose she lives to be defeated another day. I suppose a win is a win, regardless of the circumstance. Some of our allies are injured, but can still fight. We'll just have to accept this outcome and press onward. Still... The battlefield looks awful, and I wonder what became of the Kingdom Army, and Dimitri. I saw him. Who? Dimitri? He was completely different from how I remember him. He looked like a crazed demon while he was fighting. He pursued Edelgard as she retreated, but he didn't get far before he collapsed. I saw him surrounded by Imperial troops and pierced by their spears. I'll never forget it. He deserved a better end. <sighs> Dimitri. He went through so much to make it here, only for his efforts to be in vain. I can't even begin to understand what Dimitri must have been feeling, but 
There must have been some other way. Why did he have to go like that? And his vassal, Dadu, did he fall as well? I don't know. Your Highness, your ambitions are my own now. I... I will bring you Edelgard's head. I swear it! Professor? Claude? May I have a moment of your time? Lysithia, what are you doing up this late? Trouble sleeping? Anyone would be shaken after such a brutal battle. If you're having trouble sleeping, you should drink some... Must you treat me like a child? Simply because I'm awake of... <sighs> Actually, I can hardly muster any indignation right now. I wanted to tell you that I noticed something odd during that battle. What was it? There were some strange mages among the ranks of the Imperial Army. Did you notice them? That's right. I have seen people dressed just like that before. It was a long time ago. How Cerdelia was involved in a rebellion that took place within the Empire 13 years ago. After it was quelled, all of the key officials were caught and put to death. The Empire sent replacements, who they used to take control of How Cerdelia. Among the people sent by the Empire were mages dressed in black, just like those we saw in battle. If they're Imperial mages, it makes sense that they would wear the same clothing, right? Yes, but the mages from back then and today, I do not believe they are from the Adrestian Empire. No, I got the impression that they were from somewhere else, somewhere completely separate from Fodlin. There's more. Those mages imprisoned the children from my house and performed horrible rituals on them. Blood experiments. Lysithia, you can't mean... even you? Yes. All of the others were deemed failures. They all died. And even I... <sighs> it doesn't matter. The point is that those monsters possess dreadful knowledge and power. I just thought you should know the sort of people who have allied with the Empire. Blood experiments. Does that remind you of anything, Teach? Exactly. There was that secret group who abducted Flane and extracted her blood five years ago. The people involved back then were Tomas and Monica. Well, I suppose their true names were Solon and Kranya. So, that eerie group has been slithering behind the scenes in the Empire for a while now. Lysithia, thank you for sharing all of that with us. One day, we will uncover the truth of who those people really are. We've managed to invade Empire territory and emerge victorious in our first battle. I hope to maintain our momentum and push onward to Enbar, the Imperial capital. Unfortunately, we are not legendary heroes in a fairy tale. Our stamina has limits. The longer we fight, the harder the fight will become. It will take immense effort to secure the supplies and soldiers we need to prevail. Boy, you better not be saying this is as far as we go. Of course not. However, the road ahead leads deep into enemy territory. It'll be a difficult journey, strewn with hardship. I can't guarantee that we'll make it out alive. If anyone wants to leave, now is the time to do it. I shall accompany you to the very end. After all... I'm coming. The future of my village depends on this. Besides, I have to protect the professor. For Captain Gerald. I'm not going anywhere. Because of the Empire, my little sis can't live in peace. We can't leave the future of Fodlin to others. I'm sure that everyone here feels the same. The Knights of Saros are prepared to keep fighting the Empire until we rescue Lady Rhea. I feel the same as the Knights. I've got to rescue Lady Rhea no matter what. So what? We're all supposed to take turns saying... And what about you, Marianne? What will you do? I... I'll fight too. <sighs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> it's an honor to keep fighting alongside such stalwart allies. Right, Teach? I know I'm a great leader and all, but praising me isn't going to get you anywhere. All right. Now that I know where each of you stands, I'm going to return to Alliance territory for a while. 
I intend to report this victory to the Alliance Lords and draw out even more support from them. Our next battle will be even more challenging, so brace yourselves for that. Hmm. I should write to my brother. He'll want to hear about our victory. Your brother, Lord Holst? How is he these days? Oh, he's doing great. I even got a letter from him before the last battle. He wanted to come and join our fight, too. What's this? Lord Holst come here? Sadly, it sounds like my father was against the idea. They want him to stay in case they need to fight the Almirans. Their logic is sound. Though it is vexing that the Alliance's greatest general cannot join us on the front lines. We should be glad that Holst is staying behind. Almira aside, there's also no guarantee that the Imperial forces won't try to launch a surprise attack from the Old Kingdom territory. Um, if you have something you need to talk to my brother about, I'd be happy to send a letter. No, that's okay. I'm just glad to hear he's doing well. Please send him my regards. 